Good day. Today I want to introduce you to another Excel program you can use to design continuous one-way slabs. Now what is a one-way slab? A one-way slab is a slab in which the length of the slab divided by the width of the slab is greater than or equal to 2. For economic purpose, some engineers still accept 1.5 to be designed as a one-way slab. This program designs to BS8110. So let's explain the sections. At the very top, we have the title section where we input the name or title of the project. And then directly under it, we have the material section where we input the material properties of the concrete, the factor of safety of concrete and steel, and the strength of concrete, including cover to reinforcement. And then we have the span section where we input the span of the slab as well as the thickness. We have the loading pattern section where we can set the factor of safety for the dead and imposed load. We can change support types. We could see the key for the support types K knife, C cantilever, and E N castra. Under the loading section, we can put our uniform distributed loading for both dead load and imposed load. It can also undo point load. Note the units. For uniform distributed loads, the units should be in kilonewtons per meter squared. And so to get that for a slab, you just multiply the unit weight of uh, concrete, which is 24, by the thickness of the slab to get the UDL loading. To see the analysis of what you have put in, you click on the Actions tab. We can see the calculated bending moment. And note that it can also undo moment redistribution as well. Now to see the calculated reinforcements, we click on the span tab. For each of the span, the bottom reinforcement as well as the top reinforcement is provided. Now when we look at a single span, reinforcement is provided at the left, center and then right. However, it is left for you to arrange the reinforcement to produce a more orderly pattern. For instance, you could use the, the bottom steel reinforcements for the center as general for the whole span. And of course, in your detailing, you could also pick the higher of the top steel reinforcement for the left and right and use it generally. You have the option of changing the size of the steel to suit your economic needs. Now, this maximum S here means maximum spacing. To eliminate the maximum spacing error, you need to reduce the size of the bars or increase the size as appropriate. In this case, I've reduced the size and the top steel is Y8 at 250 centers and the bottom steel is Y10 at 400 centers. But in some cases, this may not be practicable. And so we could use a minimum steel of say Y10 at 250 center to center. In other words, what I'm saying is that whatever reinforcement that is provided here, when you are detailing, you have to sensibly apply it. This Excel program is just to aid you to achieve a correct, sensible and economic design. The software is free. You can find that in the notes tab. To download this program, check the description that comes with this video. Thanks for watching. You can support us by liking this video and uh, subscribing to our channel.